Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the 2024 Cadillac CT5V. Huge shout out to Randy Marion Cadillac for providing the sedan for me today. Definitely take a look at their website. That link is down in the description. So this V model is finished off in Summit White. It has an MSRP just over $55,000. And underneath the hood is the 3 liter twin turbo V6. It's paired to the 10 speed automatic transmission, pumping out 360 horsepower, 405 pound feet of torque. That power is sent to the rear wheels, propelling this 3,900 pound sedan from zero to 60 in four and a half seconds. Top speed is 156 miles an hour. This also has a fuel capacity of 17 gallons. You'll expect to see around 18 miles per gallon in the city, 27 out on the highway. This also has a wheelbase of 116 inches. Its overall length is 193.8. It has a width of 74.1 and a height of 57.2 inches. As we move on to the exterior styling now for this CT5V, let's start off with all the gloss black accents that are up front. So it surrounds the entire grille, where over on the driver's side, there's also a 20 years badge, which is very subtle and neat to see. Now the Cadillac logo itself is also the forward sensor for the adaptive cruise and all of that tech. There's also uh, parking sensors that are located up front and a lot of cutouts in this mesh to provide maximum cooling to this engine. Now on both sides, it just has the pattern, so these are not hollow, but still gives it a really cool look. And then this also houses the DRL and turn signal just next to those. So on Cadillac models, a lot of them have that vertical design for the turn signal and the DRL. So it makes its way up to the upper housing where this also has the LED headlights and high beams. So it's a really nice classy look and with the white and black, it's a great combo. Now there's also some nice lines that run down the hood, very subtle for this model, but again, gives it a great sporty look. Now, as we work our way to the side, this has a set of 19 inch wheels finished off in dark gray. You'll notice the Cadillac logo on the brake calipers as well. And then they're wrapped in a Pilot Sport 4S tire. So very performance oriented for this model. Now the V badge is also behind that. There's the two tone for the power folding side mirrors. They also have the turn signal. Moonroof is up top, more gloss black surrounds all the window trim and very nice lines that run down the side. Cadillacs are known for having a luxury look. So there's not a lot of crisp lines, but a lot of curved lines to really give it that luxury style. Now there's some gloss black in that lower side skirt just to match the rest of the theme and a nice line that runs from the headlights to the taillight housing. Now in back, this does have a body colored spoiler. There's the backup camera, LED taillights, more gloss black located in the middle of that trunk lid. It's even in the diffuser down below. There's also sensors just above that. Reverse light is in the middle along with some more body color for that diffuser. Now this also has remote start so we can listen to it with that quad tip dual exhaust. We can lock it, double tap that button. And then when you hold on that button, you can shut it off if you need to. And then we also have the trunk release or you can use the button up underneath. Now it's not power operated, but it will open completely up with the push of the button. And then being a practical sedan, there's actually a good bit of space. There's a cubby over on the passenger side, a little bit of battery access on this left side here. And then there's even some hidden storage underneath the floor. So there's compartments. You can even remove these if you need to, just to get a little bit more space and you can place some items there. You can also fold down the back seats. Now you do have to go into the back in order to release them, but with them down, that gives you a lot more interior space, making this that much more practical. Now there is a grab handle over on that passenger side and it's very lightweight, so it is easy to close. Now, as we work our way to the back seats, you'll notice that the door handles are actually fixed to the body. So you'll just push this button on the back side of the door handle, and that is how you will release it, where this interior has a really nice design. So there's carbon fiber, along with the brushed aluminum accents, Bose audio, all of the orange stitching that surrounds leather on that armrest. And then of course it makes its way into these back seats, which have a really nice design. Now at five foot 10, I can work my way into the back where I have plenty of space. There are storage pockets behind both front seats, air vents, some auxiliaries. There's this bump right in the middle, but for your middle passenger, you have plenty of leg room to put a foot over both sides. And then my head is just up against the headliner, but it's a comfortable seat. I could ride around town, be comfortable in the back seat, of course. And then right in the middle, if you don't have a middle seat passenger, you have the armrest along with two cup holders if you need to use those. 
and a good bit of visibility. Very thin pillar in the back. And you do have the sunshade that you can open up up top if you want a little bit more light. So it's very roomy for your backseat passengers. And then up front, we have the same design, of course. There's the trunk release, all the memory seating controls, window controls, side mirror adjustments too, and then the same materials there. Cadillac badge is also down on the door sill, and we have a lot more lateral support for these front seats. Very nice design to them with all the automatic adjustments. There is one manual adjustment for that leg support. So you can pop that out if needed. And it's a low car, so it's easy to sit down into it. And then taking a look at the steering wheel now, it's finished off in solid leather with black stitching on the inside. We also have some brushed aluminum accents. Now on this left side, this is all the cruise control settings. There's also the heated steering wheel, distance pacing, and then Bluetooth controls. On the right side, there's a scrolling dial along with toggling for the gauge cluster, which we'll get to here, along with volume and tuning, and even the V button. Now this also has steering wheel mounted paddle shifters too, but let's fire this back up. Left side of the gauge cluster is the tack. Right side is miles per hour, along with the engine temperature, fuel levels back over on that left side. In the upper section, that is all fixed information. So miles per hour, range until empty, along with a few others. And then underneath that, this is where you can use the controls on the right side of the steering wheel to further go through this information. So let's start with music. You can also pull up navigation, look at the compass. There's your phone when you have that paired. And then the settings page where you can go through a lot of this just to configure it as needed. You can even go into launch control. When you have this broken in and ready to go, you can activate that. And then if I go all the way to the left, we have some more information that you can go through. Basically all these averages and some vitals that you can keep track of, which is of course nice to see. And then for the last one, you can go into V. So you have a zero to 60 timer, you have tire pressure, even your limited slip differential, you can monitor that. And there's a blank page too. There's even the friction bumble. Not exactly sure what that's for. G-force meter, it looks like. Now over on the left side, there's the e-brake along with a dimmer switch, little cubby space where you could maybe play something. There's an air vent, and then all the stitching continues its way on the dash all the way down surrounding the infotainment system right in the middle. Now for the home screen, if I just click on home, we have the split style. So there's your music, your climates, your phone, you can swipe over now and go through the rest of these icons. So you have my Cadillac, you can get into the climate adjustments just by turning that on, very easy and simple to go through, of course. And then we can swipe back over, look at audio, phone, you have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, even various apps that you can go into. So you can search some, a variety of apps basically, just depending on what you would like to see, other settings that you can go into. And then in the lower section, these are all presets. So you can quickly get into all of these just depends on what you need, of course, for the day. Pretty easy system to use. There's even a home button just underneath that, so you can quickly toggle between that. But it gives you everything that you need to drive this every day. Now underneath that, there's two air vents, and then you'll notice all these toggles do come to a slight point in the middle, making a giant V. We have AC adjustments, fan speed, temperature dials, and then your research, where you'd like the air to go. Everything's laid out extremely well. This also has heated seats for driver and passenger, parking sensors, lane keeping assist, hazards are right in the middle. This does have wireless charging, a little bit of storage on that left side. And in front of the shifter, we do have different driving modes. So right in the gauge cluster, you have my mode, which is configurable. Then you can go to tour, sport. There's also track and snow and ice. So just depending how you wanna drive for the day, you can turn off traction control with rear wheel drive, have a little bit of fun. There's auto hold along with the engine start stop feature. And then taking a look at the shifter, let's put it into reverse. So now we have that massive screen for the backup camera along with the guidelines. Drive is all the way to the back. If you pull on it without using the release on that left side, that is now manual mode, allows you to use the paddle shifters and then park is located right on the top. Now to the right of that, there are two cup holders. You can easily hide those away. And then you can also use all of these for that screen up top. So it is more than just a touchscreen system with a rotary dial and a bunch of shortcuts. 
to quickly get to all this information. You can even adjust the radio and tuning just in front of that. So it's in within reach with the armrest here, making it very easy and comfortable to use. And then speaking of the armrest, let's open this up from the side where you have another area. You can place a phone. You can actually gain access to it underneath. So you can easily push it out and pull it out like that if you need to. We have some auxiliaries and then plenty of storage. And then the glove box also has a massive amount of space for all of those items. Now up top, there's the dome lights as well as the sunshades. So they will both open simultaneously and that gives you a lot more light. We have these sun roof adjustments for up front, of course, along with some OnStar controls and then a good bit of visibility from the driver's seat. It's very open feeling, so it's easy to see in all directions. As we set off now behind the wheel for this Cadillac CT5V, like I mentioned earlier, this is right around $55,000. Now that is going to change depending on the trim level that you go with. You can go up to the V Blackwing that is going to be much more expensive, has a completely different engine as well, or you can go down a trim level and not get the V model. So it really just depends on your budget, what you're looking to get out of your Cadillac sedan. And I would call this pretty much the middle of the trim level lineup for the Cadillac CT5. And it's a really nice vehicle. It's very spacious. You can go to the four if you don't want something quite as big, but this just makes it a little bit more practical, being a little bit larger, of course. Uh, so for $55,000, I can see this being justifiable. Cadillacs are known for being very luxurious, luxurious vehicles. And with this CT5, you're kind of getting the best of both as far as being luxury and having some performance without going to that next step. So picture this just like a BMW M340 without going to the M3. So it's something that you can still get a little bit of power and you don't have to go crazy as far as pricing goes, but you can also spec this with some, with some cool options like the carbon fiber and some other things like that. So it just depends on what you want out of your vehicle. And so from first gear, here we go. <laughs> you can hear pops in the upshifts. That's pretty cool. It's not loud. It's something that for a luxury vehicle like this, I think that's pretty adequate. I do personally wish it was louder. If you want louder, you either throw on a different exhaust or you go with the Blackwing. Uh, but for this twin turbo V6, it's a pretty good sound. Oh, it did pop that time. Uh, but it has a nice good tone to it for this style of vehicle. So it's not over loud, but Cadillac can make some really good sounding vehicles. Now, as far as driving this, I've been in the CT5s before. We had one for a week. So I do have some seat time behind the wheel aside from just today. It's very nice. It is what you would expect from a luxury brand like Cadillac. Very smooth, very comfortable, very well insulated too. And so this would make for a great daily driver because of all of those reasons and the fact that you have plenty of space to bring other people. So it's a very versatile style sedan from Cadillac. And from second gear, here we go. And with a mild acceleration, this definitely has a lot more potential than what I'm throwing at it today. So it's a very quick and sporty sedan, which is nice to see from a brand like Cadillac. Cadillac has a lot of luxury style vehicles, but they also do make some performance oriented models. And while this is kind of right in the middle, it's still nice to see the performance that you can get if you're not looking to go to that extra step. So in this case, we have the CT5V. If you wanna go with the V Blackwing, which has that supercharged 6.2 liter V8 engine. So it's nice if you want some of those sporty characteristics and you still want something that's just a nice daily driver. So for the mid $50,000 range, and again, just depending on your options and your budget, this starts right around 50, 51 grand. So there's a few options on this particular model to drive that price up. One thing I do wanna point out, we even have a V logo in the bottom of the side mirror. So there's a lot of little Easter egg Vs surrounding this entire vehicle, which is nice to see. But driving it, seats are very comfortable. I like the seating position. I like the ergonomical feel 
of everything while you're in the driver's seat. So as you saw earlier in this video with working the screen and everything, once you're actually out on the road, of course you wanna pay attention to where you're going, but it does make it incredibly easy to go through all of this and not have to really take your eyes off the road, especially with the controls down below, makes it super easy to go through all of this and still pay attention. Not a whole lot of technology in this Cadillac, which is a little bit surprising, but some of the other models do offer a lot more tech. And again, just depending on what you want, personally, I think it's great, especially for this kind of vehicle. And this is the 2024 year model. 2025, from what I've heard, the CT5 is going to be completely different for the interior. So we're going to have a redesigned interior, have that massive screen, like what came out in the Cadillac Lyric, which is the electric version, but that has that giant screen running across it. And so we're going to see that for 2025, I believe, for this Cadillac. So if you're not a huge fan of that, if you have seen it, I think it's really cool. A lot of companies are going to that size screen. If you're not a huge fan though, 2024 is going to be the last year for you to get this configuration. And I don't see anything wrong with it. Personally, I think both are great, like I mentioned. And let's do one last acceleration for today's video. Pretty tight turning radius, which is nice. Visibility is good. Let's get back up to speed here. Shifts are so quick and those pops definitely sound good. That is going to wrap it up for the 2024 Cadillac CT5V. Once again, a huge shout out to Randy Marion Cadillac for providing this sedan for me today. Definitely check out their website. That link is down in the description. Give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy it. Consider smashing that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on our daily uploads. I will see you all in the next video.